recording. Uh, for the semester six economics honors and course uh, core course thirteen, we are now studying for Pareto's optimality. For semester six CC thirteen, here we here we are studying Pareto's optimality. The three conditions for Pareto's optimality are Pareto's optimality for exchange for production and for exchange and production. Optimality for exchange means how the goods. It is a two good two consumer model. So we are studying here how the two goods are optimally exchanged between the two consumers. Likewise for production. we have two goods that are produced by using two factors of production and how or the optimal uh, production optimal amount of goods that are produced by using these two factors for these two goods this is to be studied under pareto's optimality for production the third one is pareto's optimality for exchange and production given the optimality of exchange and production we arrive at a point that is the optimum product mix that is a uh, uh, that we establish equality between the optimality of exchange and the optimality of production now pareto's optimality of ex for exchange what does it means the condition deals with efficiency how the goods are distributed among the two uh, consumer and the two goods are distributed among these consumers uh, suppose uh, we have two goods that is x and y and uh, there are two consumers a and b uh, that if there is a uh, if we if we have come or uh, come to achieve pareto's optimality that means if any type of economic policy uh, that changes the distribution among these two con consumers for these goods are efficient only uh, if the commodities that increase utility of one consumer does not decrease the utility of other consumer for example if consumer a is deriving a maximum amount of utility from consumption of two goods x and y and consumer b is also deriving the maximum utility by consuming two goods x and y and if there in there is a some economic policy which reshuffles the whole thing and what does it do it decreases the utility of consumer a to increase the utility of consumer b that means we are not at pareto's optimal point that means any type any type of economic policy cannot make a redistribution for increase in the utility of either of the consumer and what are the conditions for pareto's optimality of exchange is uh, we can sum it as marginal condition for pareto's optimality there are two goods as we all know x and y and there are two consumers a and b now we have to make a use of indifference curve suppose uh, a consumer who is getting maximum utility among two goods x and y that means the marginal rate of substitution for x goods should be equal to the marginal rate of substitution of y goods uh, and uh, if the person is receiving the marginal rate of substitution for x and y goods for a should be equal to marginal rate of substitution for b goods marginal rate of substitution we have studied it in our earlier class so for the marginal rate of technical sub for marginal rate of substitution we can show it through the graph see in this it is called edgeworth box uh, here we are have tilted ox and oy axis to accommodate both a and b now on ox axis we have we have depicted consumer a on ox1 we have consumer b oy we have consumer a oy2 we have consumer b it's is clearly mentioned here 
uh, at the point Q is the initial uh, distribution of goods X and Y wherein the consumer A is enjoying OX1 of goods X and OY1 of goods B and, and the consumer B is enjoying OY2 and OX2. So this is the initial distribution. Now uh, at this distribution uh, what is happening? If there is any risk redistribution of goods so uh, the Pareto's optimality can be only exchanged on the indifference curve that is A I A1 and B2. Q at point Q when it the um, when it moves uh, to A I A1 that means consumer A has reached a higher indifference curve whereas consumer B is on same indifference curve and when the consumer moves consumers move to the other point that means consumer A is on same indifference curve whereas consumer B has moved to higher indifference curve so these two points are satisfy Pareto's optimal condition Now we have come to the second point that is Pareto's optimality for productions. When the allocation of factors of productions are given and given for two goods and we can say it is efficient only if we make a if we make any re distribution redistribution and it does not increases the production of either of the commodity that means that any redistribution of the factors of production to produce these two goods does not increase the production of either of the commodity then we can say that our initial and initial allocations of factors of production is the optimum and satisfies the Pareto's optimality condition here again we need to study the marginal conditions for Pareto's optimality for the marginal condition we, we have taken in consideration the marginal rate of technical substitution of factor L for F for factor K for the two goods should be equal now we can show it in a uh, diagram here again we have taken help of Edgeworth box the ISO quants are depicted in the diagram and on OX there is optimum allocation of factors the factor is labor on OX on OY we have mentioned um, the capital uh, the factor capital the goods A is an OX and the good B is on the upper side of um, OY now the marginal rate of technical substitution at K K is the initial point K is the optimum allocation now if there is any redistribution of the factors uh, that satisfies the Pareto's optimality will be at R and at Q at R again we can say at R the isoquants of uh, factor A lab, uh, of, of uh, goods A moves upward and on, on Q the isoquants of factor B moves back sorry goods B moves upward okay so this uh, is the Pareto's optimal condition satisfying from R K to K to R and K to Q now Pareto's optimality of ex for exchange what does it mean the condition deals with efficiency how the goods are distributed among the two uh, consumer and the two goods are distributed among these consumers. Now we are Pareto's optimality for exchange and productions. This is called simultaneous equilibrium of production and consumption or output or product mix. Here we have two, two poss uh, production possibility curve and what is production possibility curve? It is the locus point of all the Pareto's efficient output production given uh, the resource and endowments and the state of technology that means on these points the points uh, shows the, mm, the productions of goods and services and the exchange rate between them production possibility curve is the attainable maximum goods that are attainable or yeah, obtainable uh, by uh, 
by substituting the other goods. Okay, this is the way we can study it. Now the negative slope. It has a negative slope. That means the marginal rate of transformation for one goods uh, is negative. This means that for acquiring one unit of goods X, some units of good Y must be sacrificed. Recording. Uh, for the semester 6 economics honors and course uh, core course 13 we are now studying for apparatus optimality This diagram can be this um, product mix or the last Pareto's optimal criteria can be shown through the diagram. Here we have o, on the OX we have good X, on OY we have goods Y. Uh, PP is the production possibility curve uh, that shows uh, the rate substitution, the rate of substitution between the two goods X and Y. And here we have uh, I in indifference curve there are two indifference curve the upper one is tangent with the production possibility curve at point E that shows that marginal rate of substitution for X and Y is equal to marginal rate of transformation product of two goods now if we have point B here uh, that is cutting the production possibility curve um, this is not an optimal criteria because at this point the marginal rate of substitution is not equal to marginal rate of transformation thank you